Hey everyone, in this video I'll show you how to cut wood at an angle with a circular saw. I'll show you how to do a miter cut and a bevel cut for different angle cases. As a first case, I'll show you how to do a miter cut at any angle less than 90 degrees. Place the wood to be cut on a sacrificial board and fix masking tape over your intended line of cut to prevent splinters. Next you need to mark the line of cut. To do that, first mark a 90 degree line with your speed square. Then rotate the speed square with the corner of the speed square as a pivot point. Rotate until you get the miter angle you need. In this case, we'll be doing a 45 degree miter cut. Now once the angle is set, mark the line of cut. If you don't want to use a speed square, use a T-bevel or an angle finder tool. Next, set the depth of the saw blade so that the blade makes a through cut in the wood. So we'll be using the speed square as a straight edge for guiding the circular saw. To know where to place the speed square, measure the offset distance from the blade to the edge of the base plate. Transfer this offset distance from the line of cut to the edge of the wood. Fix the speed square at the point marked at a 45 degree angle. Now place the circular saw with the base plate flush against the speed square and make the cut. Remove the masking tape and sand the edges. So that's how you do a miter cut at an angle less than 90 degrees. Next I'll show you how to do a miter cut at an angle greater than 90 degrees. The method is almost the same except in how you mark the angle. So I'll be doing a 135 degree miter cut. As a first step, mark a 90 degree angle using a speed square. Next pivot the speed square at the marked line and rotate it to get a 45 degree angle. Draw the line to get a total of 135 degree angle for the miter cut. Now just like before, use the speed square as a straight edge and make the 135 degree miter cut. Next I'll show you how to do a bevel cut at an angle less than 45 degree with a circular saw. As a first step, use the speed square to mark the line along which you need to make the bevel cut. Here I'll be doing a 40 degree bevel cut. Unlock the bevel adjustment nut and tilt the blade until you get a 40 degree bevel angle. Next clamp a speed square in place to use as the straight edge. With the base plate flush against the speed square, turn on the saw and make the bevel cut. So that's how you do a less than 45 degree bevel cut using a circular saw. Next is making a greater than 45 degree bevel cut. To make a greater than 45 degree bevel cut with a circular saw, you need to make two cuts one after the other. I'll be doing a 60 degree bevel cut to show you how to do this. Subtract the final bevel angle you need from 90 degrees. In this case, it's 90 minus 60, which gives me 30 degrees. Set the bevel angle at 30 degrees and make the first cut. Next turn the wood by 90 degrees to place it on the adjacent face. The second cut is a miter cut. To do this, draw a line perpendicular to the beveled face. You can set the bevel angle back to zero for this miter cut. Next, fix a straight edge such that the circular saw blade falls on the line of cut marked in the earlier step. Place the circular saw blade on the line and complete the cut. Now, depending on the angle, it might be tricky to complete this cut using a circular saw, so use a hand saw to complete this bevel cut. So after making the second cut, you'll have a 60 degree bevel made using a circular saw. So those are the four methods to cut an angle with a circular saw. If you like this video, like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.